I'm Judy Crane, and in this free art lesson, I want to show you how to mix some bright, luminous colors using a fairly limited palette. So I'm going to start with um, colors. These are primarily colors that you might want to use in painting um, a flower, or it uh, relates to actually almost anything. Here I have permanent rose. And this is a translucent color. Can you, you can see the, um, how clear that color is. I'm going to mix a little white in with permanent rose. And you have a beautiful, pretty pure pink. To this um, permanent rose, if I add a little bit of Indian yellow, I start getting an orange. Add some white to that. Here is cad yellow light. Just taking the cad yellow light and adding a little permanent rose to cad yellow light. And there you get another bright yellow. This is one of my favorite colors. It's uh, cad red light. Adding cad yellow light to that. I can get even a brighter orange. In, if you're trying to mix bright colors for flowers and, um, well, any really bright color, sticking with a couple of two colors makes it work a little bit better. But if you want to tone it down a little bit to have a more realistic color um, for maybe in the shadow areas, you can start adding a more complementary color. And, you can also add a more opaque color. This is just adding some yellow ochre, which essentially did the same thing as adding a little bit of the cerulean blue to it. Um, you don't have to have a million different colors to create the beautiful shades you might want. A little bit of ultramarine with this um, permanent rose can give you a a lovely pink. If I want a really bright purple or a lovely mauve color, the cerulean blue added with the permanent rose and I have a nice dark purple. And sometimes in order to see what color you really have, if you add a little bit of white to it, you can start to see that this is this is a much more purple mauve color. I'm going to add some of this um, alizarin crimson, which is a darker color. It's not as pure, it's not as pink as the permanent rose, but it will add a whole different dimension to um, to a flower, to a shadowed area in a flower, or in a landscape, in the shadowed area of the landscapes. And a bright red. I don't have a bright red on my palette, but if I take a little bit of the cad red light and the, whoops, I had another color on my palette knife. You have to, when you're mixing color, you need to keep your palette knife clean. Okay, permanent rose, cad red light. And there I have a pretty nice clear red. So you can actually work with far fewer colors. Um, you don't have to have light red, dark red, medium red, um, three or four shades of pink. Just by using the permanent rose, a little alizarin crimson, uh, cad red light, and a little bit of yellow, I can create all these um, beautiful orange and pink and purple colors without needing to introduce uh, uh, colors that might seem unrelated. When you look at this, even though these are all different colors, they're made from the same colors, and so there's a relationship. So this is the basic palette that I would use for um, making bright, luminous flowers. Permanent Rose is a big help in giving you the pinkest colors. Um, 
the CAD red light mix with that can bring in the reds and using a couple of blues, ultramarine and um, cerulean, you can create a, a variety of purples. So you can have a wonderful combination of bright colors. So I hope that you've enjoyed this free art lesson on mixing uh, bright colors and I will see you again on another free art lesson or on my DVD.